What's up people, this is a tutorial on how to make this sort of effect in Photoshop. Hope you enjoy it. First what you want to do is open your image in Photoshop and make sure you've got enough space to move stuff around just like I did. Then what you want to do is uh, get rid of the background. It's up to you how you do it. What you want to do is just get rid of it so it doesn't interfere with your work. You don't have to be really clean with it or tidy, just get rid of most of it. Because you won't be able to see the image in the end anyway, so you might as well not be spending a lot of time on it, just sort of quickly breathe through it, get rid of most of them. I finished getting rid of most of the background. Now what you want to do is select the picture and I'm going to make mine larger, you don't have to do it because my picture is really small so I'm just going to make it larger. So if your picture is already large, you don't have to do this. What you want to do next is select the head. I'm going to use the polygon tool to do this. You can use whatever you like. And yeah, once you do that, you want, is you want to make a copy of it. You can click Control C once you selected it, and then Control V to paste it. So basically, all you want to do is just have a copy of the head and I'm just messing around sorry for that but anyway so the reason why I'm selecting the head and making a copy is because I want to make it larger because when you do cartoon, when you see cartoons, they, the the head is usually almost the same size of the body. So that's what I'm gonna do. Is I'm just gonna enlarge the head to make it look more cartoony. It's up to you what size you do it. I feel like this is the size I want it, so I'm just gonna stick with that. And then you just select and apply it. What you want to do next is put the opacity down because I'll be selecting the hands, and the hands are sort of in the way of the head. So that's how I put this uh, opacity down. What you want to do next is select one of the hands. I'm going to move it down to make them smaller so they don't hit the head and they also look more cartoony. So basically what you want to do is just manipulate the picture to make it as cartoony as you can before you start outlining the picture. Yeah, so I thought I'll make the head bigger and then maybe make the hand smaller. So that's what I decided to do, but it's up to you what you do. Then I just put the opacity back. Okay, now the picture is almost ready for outlining. What you want to do first is make a new layer and paint that layer white. That's going to be sort of like a background. And what you want to do next is click on color, make it black, and then select the line. My lines are 3.6 pixels, but it's up to you how thick you want them to be. and then you just start outlining there are other ways of outlining you can use a pen tool but this is what I prefer to do what I do is just use a line tool and just keep going over parts and small selections
So if you know the pen, how to use the pen tool, I would, I would sort of use that instead because it's more smooth and accurate, I guess. Anyway, so what you do is you want to keep outlining it. I'm going to skip through this as I haven't got enough time because I can only do 10 minutes of video. So anyway, I'm going to skip through this, but you just want to outline most of the stuff except leave the eyes, the nose, and the mouth for now. So here I am. I'm almost finished outlining it. What I'm going to do is just finish off the eyebrows. So, yeah, all you do is basically the head, the ears, whatever he's wearing, clothes, hands, body. But basically, what you wanna, don't want to outline is uh, the eyes and the nose and the mouth. You want to leave that and then do them later. I'll show you how to do it. I'm going to hide two layers to see what I've got already and then put them back so yeah, you can check what you got if you missed anything so what I'm going to do next is import my eye I found this eye on the internet there's loads of different styles of eyes you can find whatever suits best for your image so I'm going to use this there's loads of different types, like I said. There's Dragon Ball Z, sort of them square manga eyes. There's uh, circle eyes, like from Simpsons and stuff. So whatever suits best, or whatever you like, you choose it. And then just try and import it. Unless, another way to do this is just sketch it out on paper and scan it in. I'm really great at sketching on, on the computer, so. I thought I'll just import some pictures. So basically, here I'm just trying to match uh, basically the eye. I change the layer style to multiply. That way, when it's on white, it's just going to look like it's been drawn out. What I'm going to do now is hide most of the layers and just leave the outlines and make another layer and merge them all so then the outlines are all on one page on one layer but if you've got CS3 you don't have to do that because when you do the lines they all become on one layer automatically this is on CS5 you have to merge all the lines together after you did that and turn on the background see what it's like and then you can rename the layer to I to make sure you don't you're so confused or anything it makes it easier and then what you want to do is just carry on like moving the eye to find the best place for it what I did next is duplicate the eye and then turn the inside out and rotated it to get the other side of it. Basically, you just carry on playing around, rotating, or whatever you want to do, different perspectives, or whatever it takes to make the eye fit. 